How are we doing? Does anyone have a script? I love it. Oh, thank you. Gee, I don't like the writing of this. I keep forgetting that I don't like how it's written. Mm -hmm. Vocal warmers. <laughs> Stravanopolis! Oh, that's a... Isn't that a frightening name? See, so I like a tremendous amount of makeup. Pop the eyes. I want them... You know, I don't go Liza, but, the, you know, don't go Katie Lang either. The second C in CBC. Does anyone know what that stands for? Why are you this close? See, this is way too close. There's a reason they say four feet is the magic distance. I need an, a wind machine if I'm to look important. See, that's too close again. <laughs> hey! Three, two, one, I'm ready. Here now is Larry Henderson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Earl Cameron saying good night. With Lloyd Robertson. Good evening. I'm Peter Kent. With Knowlton Nash. Good evening. They say news travels fast, and we proved that in 1953. Well, that was just thrilling, I must say. The craft of montage editing gets you thinking. Gee, you're a sexy thing. It's because you're so sexy, I must say. I'm just sitting here. I wish my fingers were scissors, and I would just I would release the hostages. Ed. <laughs> okay, easy. Come on, it's over, my friend. Admit it. The CBC John is wearing Canadians headsets. So most people in radio do wear the headsets. No one really knows why, because no one's talking to him. It's called affectation. See, John knows how to handle a guest. It's not all guests. Billy Bob Thornton just stormed out. You know, and Billy's a friend. And if you hear his side, you kind of agree with Billy that he was pushy, pushy and, and, and needy. Listen, um, why don't we just throw it to the tape? Oh. Come on in! One of CBC Radio's first shows set records as one of the most popular broadcasts. I see what you're doing. You're trying to break me down with that stare of yours. You think I don't know about that? On Parliament Hill, we call it the Mansbridge Eyes, eh? Two can play this game. I'm going to stare at you. Just watch me. All right, I had an affair. It was Margaret Thatcher. We knew it couldn't last. And then it had to be a secret. Well, now you know. And you know what? It feels good to talk about it. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. That's very kind. Stop staring at me! <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. To work for the CBC as a director and with other professionals who were making their living doing that, that was, that was fantastic. I think I learned uh, pretty much all, all the basic stuff that I needed uh, at the CBC. It was all about performance in front of the camera, so, uh, which is at its barest uh, what SNL is. I just want to say thank you to all of you in every town and city alphabetically, from Abbotsford to Aberdeen to Acton. From Whitehorse to Yellowknife to Zurich, Ontario. <clears throat> Thank you, Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I must say. Thank you, Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, eh? Thank you, Canada. F*** you. Hmm? Huh? Oh, thank you. And that's from all of us at the CBC. Hit the wind machine! Because you can't have a big finish without a wind machine! Everybody knows that! Here's to 75 wonderful years! And 75 more! Oh my goodness. Oh. George! Hey Marty. Oh, for heaven's you okay? sake. You park here? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's a that's quite a wind machine. Hey, let's go and have a cocktail, shall we? I would love that. Well, charge it to the CBC. Well, Why not? Let's take my bike. All right. Oh, this is your bike. That's... All right. It's very impressive. You know how to do this? Yeah. Ah! It smells like the couch from 24 Sussex. <laughs> Uh, first of all, Bev? Yeah. 
What's the best opening look? Like this? No. Give me the look. That's the look. <laughs> <laughs>